We are going to begin 28 days of no screams. <laughs> Wait, what? tuning into Tic Tac Toy Family today. I'm about to go tell the kids something that they are not going to want to hear. And I think you're gonna be pretty surprised about what we're getting ready to do. Hey kiddos, we have something we need to talk about so we gotta turn off the TV for a second. Okay. Colin, come downstairs, buddy! I'm going to break some big news to the kids. What's the big news? You sound nervous. I am. <laughs> are you nervous? No, I'm excited. You are? I'm excited. You're excited too? I'm really excited, guys. Jason and I have been thinking about doing something for G. It's probably the last nine, 10 months, for quite a while now. Yep. We are going to begin four weeks, mm -hmm. 28 weeks. days of no screams. Okay. That means what? no TV. Wait, what? That means... I thought you said no screams. No screams. <laughs> Not screams. <laughs> no TV, no tablets, no iPods, no computers. Four weeks, no screens. How am I supposed to film gaming videos? We're gonna go on a four week pause. What do you think, Colin? Mm. <laughs> do you not like that idea? What do you, why not? No, no tablet. No um, tablet's gonna be tough, isn't it? Yeah, that's gonna be tough, Colin. How do you feel about it, Maya? I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Wait, can we do that after? Can we start that like after a sleepover? Because the TV is like the main thing that keeps us awake. I've actually thought about this, and I think we're gonna start. Today is Friday, and we're going to start on Monday because yeah. I've had and Jason's had a long time to process it, to think about how we're gonna handle it, what we're gonna do, but I didn't think it was fair to the kids to spring it on them and tell them it starts now. So we're gonna have the weekend to kinda let the idea sink into our heads. And then starting on Monday, we will begin 28 days of no screens. I'm very angry. You're very angry. <laughs> it's okay to not be happy about the idea. I don't think screens are bad. You know, obviously we have a YouTube channel. We rely on screens. We use tablets, we use iPods, I use my phone, we use computers. I don't think they're bad. I just think we've gotten to a place where we're relying on them too much. And we kind of need to slow down our screen consumption and this seems just like the perfect way to do it. Not, it's never a perfect idea. No? I honestly think this is gonna be one of those things that when we get to the end of it, we're gonna look back and think what a great idea it was. Now, I know it doesn't seem that way right now, but I think, and I, I don't know for sure because obviously we haven't begun and I don't wanna have all these high expectations of what's going to come out of it, but I just have a feeling we're gonna really come to enjoy being away from our screens. I cannot live without screens for a week. Well, you're gonna do it for four weeks. What? <laughs> Did you miss that, Maya? I can't do four weeks. Oh my goodness, that's long. Like I said, Jason and I have been thinking about doing this for the last nine or 10 months. There was one event that happened that really was eye-opening to me and which gave me the idea to do this in the first place. We had a pretty big storm hit Nashville several months ago and we actually lost our power. We lost our electricity, the lights went out, Everything that requires electricity in our house was gone for a few days. Now, thankfully, we had some really nice friends who were able to lend us a couple of generators, which allowed us to hook up parts of our home to these generators and bring power to parts of our home. Now, the first thing we hooked up was our refrigerator because we don't want all of our food to spoil, which makes sense. But the second thing that we hooked up because we felt like we could not live without it was our internet and our TVs. And when we chose that over like the lighting in our house or over our washer or dryer or a dishwasher, I really thought, wow, we put 
way too much emphasis on our screens and maybe we need to make some big changes. I don't know what's gonna happen over these next 28 days, but we invite you to come along on this journey with us and see what life is like in our house without screens for four weeks. I think Sandy's really happy about us not having screen time because then I literally come out here every day to play with Sandy to get her energy out of the backyard. And yesterday when we were coming home from school, Sandy was so happy I got home that she literally just jumped up on me. It was so funny. Are you up here? Oh my goodness. Holly, oh, where'd you go? Oh, there's Maya. There. Well, we are on day four of no screens, and I have to say that it's going a little bit better than I thought it would. I thought the first week would be pretty rough, but we've been pretty busy with school most of the day, so we've only had a few hours in the afternoons and evenings where we've really had to experience the no screen time. And truthfully, the weather's been so nice, we've been outside a lot. Tomorrow, though, we go from 65 degree weather to down to the low 30s and upper 20s, so things might start getting a little bit more difficult come tomorrow when the weather changes. Help! Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Annie, what game are we playing right now? Life. The game of life. I'm going to be a teacher. We love playing games. What are some of our favorite games we like to play, Maya? Catan and Ticket to Ride. That's right. So now that we've had some extra time, we're introducing the girls to some classics, which we played as kids, Jason and I did. So we're playing Life right now. And what are we doing later tonight? Monopoly. Monopoly. That's a classic. It can be a long one, though. So we got to rest up for Monopoly. Oh. oh, you were so close. Well, it's day seven. We have survived the first of four weeks with no screens. The week went pretty smoothly. The weekend has been a bit more of a challenge. There's obviously been more time to fill and we've had to fill this time without TVs and screens and computer games and tablets. And as a result, the house has gotten to be a lot more messy. Right, Colin? There are game pieces strewn about, slime all over the place. We've had faces painted. We've done some baking. So the house has gotten a little bit messier over the weekend, but I also think there's been a lot more laughter and a lot more giggles and a lot more silliness. Addie, what has been the hardest part about a week without screens? Probably when I come from home from horse riding, um, my legs are so sore, I usually just plop down on the couch and watch TV, and I was about to do that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we have screens. Have there been any surprises? with no screens that you've actually found something you've enjoyed? Yeah, um, we we just had a sleepover with our friend last night and um, I just, I realized that we have more fun when we're not gluing our eyes to the TV, which we do like every sleepover. <laughs> what did you do instead? We, um, so we like to design Barbie dolls, like redo their hair and outfits and everything. So we did that, we did dance parties, we did lots of stuff. <laughs> It is day nine and we have a very snowy day today. Are you exploring, Colin? Uh-huh. We don't want to get wet, buddy. Oh goodness, Colin. Have we ever had this much snow in Tennessee? No. This is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. We've lived here for two and a half years and we have never had enough snow to actually plan and boy, did we get it this week. So me and Colin are trying to go find them. What has 
it been like trying to get school done with Colin around all week? Quite hard because he would come in one in the middle of the day and uh, and sometimes you would have to go get daddy to go watch him. <laughs> and daddy's trying to get work done too, isn't he? <laughs> I'm so Colin, that's not a good idea. I have to admit our second week was a lot more difficult than our first week. Because the snow school was canceled all week, Monday through Friday, we still wanted to continue school at home, so we did homeschool Monday through Friday, which proved extra difficult because Colin was out of school too, and Jason still had work to do during the week, so we were all trying to balance Jason doing work, the girls not doing homeschool, but still finding ways for Colin to be entertained and happy and taken care of without being able to use a TV or a tablet as a babysitter. Jason ended up taking a lot of work out of his office and going to work in Colin's room so that Colin could play while he was working and could still keep an eye on him. Um, and then I let the girls take turns going to play with Colin while I worked with the other daughter. And it was just a lot to handle. It was hectic, it was chaotic. There were definitely some moments where we all got frustrated and sometimes the best of us did not come forth. But now that it's the weekend, I'm hoping we can kind of um, rework things and start fresh with our third week. And if I'm being totally honest, Jason and I almost caved yesterday. Oh, we had a conversation last night and almost just decided to throw in the towel and have like a movie night because we were just feeling the stress and feeling how difficult it was and realizing it was taking a lot out of us to keep everybody entertained and happy away from screens. And we pulled through, we're still going, but, but there was a moment where we almost ended it all. Who's at our house today, buddy? Karen. Aunt Karen and who else? Uncle Brian! Uncle Brian, and who's behind us? Honey? No. Who's behind you? Uh, uh. Is that your cousin? Huh? Yeah, Lila Jean. Lila Jean! Is it the best time ever when Aunt Karen, Uncle Brian, and Lila Jean are here? Yep. We're at about the halfway point, which is pretty cool. And I actually think these next few days are gonna be super easy because we have family in town. There's gonna be so much to do. It's gonna be non-stop fun that who needs screens right now? Oh wow, I love the pose at the end. Aunt Karen is busy filming too. What's your channel, Aunt Karen? Hey Mamas. Hey Mamas, you can check out our channel and watch Aunt Karen. But more importantly, Layla more, Jane. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> more importantly, Layla Jane. Hey Layla, can you smile for the camera? Big Give your smile. big smile. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Are you a student at Hogwarts? Yes, I'm Luna Lovegood, and we are going to be doing a Hogwarts test. Ooh, good luck. Who are you, oh Addie? Oh my gosh, Hermione. Hermione, of course. I should have known. Okay, everyone, time to start your divination quiz. today. Uh -huh. And you have chocolate ice cream all <coughs> over you, don't you? <laughs> oh, I win! Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I win again. We are in Arkansas for a few days and a couple days ago we faced our most challenging day without screens and it was the day that forced me to really plan ahead and think things through in order to survive it. And that was a six and a half hour car ride to get here. Now normally we rely pretty heavily on screens and tablets and DVDs to make it through long car rides and airplane rides, but I was forced to get really creative and you'll have to watch, I have a whole vlog telling you all in detail what I did for our road trip. And I think everybody had a really great time. 
Now we'll just have to survive the car ride home tomorrow. There have been a few instances where we have allowed the kids to get onto screens during these past few weeks. Often they're for school purposes or what Maya is doing right now is that she is attending her weekly art class and right now the art class is in Zoom. We were okay with her continuing this because she's learning a lot obviously. She's using some creativity and it's something that she really enjoys. I have to say that I've been really enjoying the quiet that has come with no screens. In the past, we had the TV kind of on as background noise for a large chunk of the day. It often came on when we would wake up in the morning and sometimes it would still be on before we went to bed and it was just constant background noise. And I never realized how bothersome or annoying that was until I have been without it. And it has been wonderful. I'm really, really enjoying the quiet. It should clarify that there is still noise in the house, but it's a different kind of noise. It's often the noise of kids running around, kids giggling, kids playing games, sometimes kids arguing and bickering. But honestly, I would much rather hear that noise than the noise of a TV constantly blaring in the background. Addie, what are you and Caroline working on right now? We are working on some crafts for our hideouts. What so kind of craft? I just finished a little secret stash box that we got on vacation a while ago. Caroline's painting a birdhouse that is a mini replica of our hideout, so like birds can stay in it. <laughs> and then we also bought some canvases, so I'm eventually gonna paint some of those. And it's gonna go in your hideout too? Yes. Fun. I feel like our time away from screens has helped you guys get a little bit more creative. Do you feel that way too? Yeah, I feel like we've gotten a lot more crafty and creative. No screen days are definitely the days when it is beautiful outside and we just can't resist being out here. Well, we made it. We did four weeks without screens. So what did we think? Let's start with you, Addie. For the first few days, it was so hard. All I ever thought about was TV. <laughs> How do you feel now, four weeks in? I feel pretty happy about it. We, we feel like we had more fun on sleepovers since we were just gluing our eyes to the TV. And she did a lot of reading. I was mm -hmm. proud of you. She read hours a day sometimes. Yes. That was pretty cool. What about you, Maya? What was the hardest part of no screens? Not watching TV. <laughs> they had their YouTube channels that they like to watch, which you kind of fell behind on. But what did you enjoy about it? I spent more time like doing some crafts and drawing and playing with friends, mm -hmm. playing outside. Playing outside. Jason, what were your overall thoughts? Um, it was certainly tough in the beginning, getting used to the new um, way of things, but I think after a little bit, we all kind of got used to the new way of life without screens, and I actually enjoyed um, not having that aspect to our lives. I did well. too. I really <laughs> did too. I honestly felt like the kids got along better. It was just nice not having the TV blaring in the background, so there was more reading going on, more creativity. You guys are outside a lot normally. You guys do spend a lot of time outdoors, but I think they were outside even more, which was pretty cool. There's another YouTube channel that was part of my inspiration to do this called Reclaiming Motherhood, and they went one year without screens. A full year. What do you guys think about doing the next 11 months. Let's do we it. We are not doing this <laughs> whatsoever. I heard they had just amazing benefits from you with that screen, which is pretty cool. We probably won't do a full year, but I would love to incorporate it more into our normal routine, less screens. So we've talked about in the mornings, no screens, and we're all on board with that, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So mornings, no more screens, which is nice. And then we talked about maybe one day a week, one weekend a month, one week a year, no screens. I think 
look can handle that? <laughs> One week a year? One week a year, that's not bad. One day a week, one weekend a month, and then one week a year, no screen. We can do that. We Easy. can do that. We did a whole 28 days. <laughs> one week is no big deal. All right. You're right, I'm right. But now that we can do screens, what's the first thing you're gonna watch or play or do with a screen? Probably just play games on iPads. Play games on iPads? What about you, Eddie? First thing you're gonna do? I'm probably watch Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast? <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Colin's about to get home from school. What's the first thing we think he's gonna do? Play a Spider-Man game on his iPad. Play a Spider-Man uh, game? Or <laughs> play Minions so. game. Or Minions, good he's call. He's been bringing Minion toys. Well, thank you for watching our fun little experiment. I thought it was fun. Maybe not everybody else, but I enjoyed it. XOXO! Bye!